Hi all, welcome to the working session of Siligo. I'm Shali Nerella. In our today's session, we'll discuss about how to connect to an application which is residing behind the firewall. And we'll then do a simple integration where we'll fetch the data from Salesforce and we'll load it into database. We'll then see how to schedule the flow, right? So let's get started. Let's open Siligo. So this is the home page that we land on. And in order to connect to any application which is behind the firewall, we need to have something called an agent. So you find that under resources, agents. So you first have to create an agent. I'll say create and I'll give the name as database agent. And you can get the description if required and say save and close. So now we'll have to install the downloadable file. So we are downloading it. And once this is downloaded, we'll install it. So we have the file now downloaded. Let's install it. This is the one. Let me say run as administrator. So here it says enter agent token. So if you go here, you'll be able to see your token. So just click on show token. And this is your access token. Just copy this. And enter it here. And just say submit. So see here, agent is set up and is ready to use. Okay. Also, you can just see here the other actions that are available are you can edit this agent. You can just change the name of this. And you can see where it is being used. You can generate a new token and you can delete the agent here. Okay. So now it's the status is still offline. If we now go here and say agent, Now you'll see the agent is online. Refresh it. And see here, your agent is online. Okay. So this is how you connect an application which is behind the firewall. So now we'll have to create the database connection. So I'll, the database I'm using is MySQL here. This is my MySQL. And I'll give a name to this, say database connect. And on premise. So now we'll have to give the agent that we have installed. This is the agent. We'll need to specify that agent and give the connection details. Localhost, database name. So I've given the database name as employees, username, root, password, and port. So now you can do a test connect. See here, your connection is working great. So your test connection is, so your connection is now established. Let's now connect to Salesforce as well. Let me create a connection and say Salesforce. Let me give the name as Salesforce Connect and account type prediction, flow type refresh token, and say save and authorize. So here 
you need to provide the details you need to authorize it here and now you are connected to salesforce here yeah. So now since our source and destination uh, connections are already established, so let's go and create the flow. So to create the flow, we go into flow builder. First, let's give the flow name. So this is Salesforce to database flow. And So I'll first add my source. I'll select Salesforce. So here, anything that you're getting data from the source is called export. And if you're sending the data, that is called import. So you are exporting the records from source application. Or you can also listen for real-time data. For now, I'm trying to export records. The connection, which we've already created, and say next. So I'll give this as Salesforce export. So the, here we are creating the export. So Salesforce export, you can give any description if required. What we would like to export here. So I need three uh, record, uh, three field values, ID, name, and type from account. And we can configure the export type so export type, we have our all delta ones test. So this is what we discussed in our earlier session. So now I'll go with delta. So date fields to use in delta search. See here, these are with which you can extract the data. So here I'll select last modified date. Okay. So then we can preview the data. So here you can see ID name type. Okay, so I'll save this. We have created our export. So now we'll have to create the import. So the import here, the target application is database, which is MySQL. So let's now create the destination target so my target is my sequel what you would like to do so either import or look up for additional records so we import the records into destination application let's select the connection here say next uh, i'll call this as database import and one too many no how would you like to like the records to be imported we'll first see insert right so for the query i have it here already i'll just copy and paste this so this is how you send you use the insert query right so then say save we have our source destination created and our export input created so let's now execute this flow so in order to test this we need to first enable the flow so i'll just say enable this is now enabled and so now i'll execute the flow so in order to execute so what we have said is delta flow right so let me open salesforce so salesforce and i'll go into accounts i'll create a new uh, account so I'll create a new account. I'll say new and give the name as Siligo. Account number. And the type, I'll give this as customer direct. Industry, let's say construction. Then rest all, let's ignore, let's say save. And let's go into MySQL and let's see what, the, what is the data we have here. 
so we are sending it into account account table so here we right now have no data okay so let's execute the flow and see when i say run now it will ask for delta flow what is the start date you wanted to check with right so here it is checking from 3:50 pm what are the new flows that we have so let's say custom and let me give 5 minutes faster so let me click here and just drag this to 45 and just leave it as it is and let's see from here let's run it since we have created one new account we should be able to fetch that account so see here it has fetched one record sales was export is completed and database import as well is completed so here it gives you clear uh, status completed how many of uh, them are of success and uh, pages duration taken so everything will be provided here you can see the run history here so now let's go and see in mysql see here this is the account id siligo and customer direct right let's now try to update uh, this particular record okay so for which what i'll do here is i'll go into this and i'll now say update let me give the query here update query here just yes, say yes, yes. now we are going to update it so let me modify this to prospect and let's run the flow again so this is done let's see here we need to have prospect in type see here this is updated which looks good so then um let's now try to use another action here so if you see here another query type we have is insert or update so application itself will either insert or update based on the record availability so here it asks you how would you like to identify existing records so we have two options here records have a specific field populated or to run a dynamic lookup so i'll select specific field populated so the field is id this is a unique value and this is for insert so this is the insert uh, query and this is the update query we have so let's save it So now let me modify this again. I'll change the type to customer channel. Right. So let's now run this log in. so we have the flow completed let's now check here so this have to be customer channel so see here the type is changed to customer channel right so this is how we build a simple uh, flow sales post database let's now try to schedule this 
So here, this is the option to schedule. So you select the time zone here. So select the time zone. So this is my time zone. And you can either use preset or cron expression. So I'll just select the uh, frequency once daily. And you can select the time. Since it is 3.57 PM now, let me select 4, 5 PM. And you can select a run on these dates. So let me select all of them. So you can run on these days. You can either uncheck or select whatever are required. So for now, I'll put all the days. And also you can use prawn expression if required for complex scheduling. So I'll sch I've scheduled this, I'll say save. So you can see the dashboard here. So any running flows or completed flows will be here. Last run is 3.56 PM. Uh, also, any flow that is created via flow builder will be in this standalone flow. You can find it in the standalone flow. So you can later organize this by creating the integration. So for example, I can go here and say, I'll create an integration by name Salesforce to database. And I can get the flow over here. So I have moved the flow here into this integration. So here the time is four five now. So you can see the status in progress. It's getting executed. Since there are no records, it has not fetched any data. So let me change this. Let me update to installation partner. If I now run this, The execution is completed. So now we'll be able to see the change, right? So that is how you schedule a flow. So that uh, we have discussed about on-premise database connectivity, Salesforce to database integration, and how to schedule a flow. So that's the end of our session. Thank you.